Hello, thanks for watching. This is Sal Contreras from Dent Experts on a Subaru Legacy quarter panel smash repair. I'm going to fix this dent using paintless dent repair, not crack the paint, and remove the damage. The alternative to this is the body shop either cutting in a whole new quarter panel, painting the trunk, the quarter panel, the rear door, the bumper, uh, or trying to save it. I'm going to actually fix this and not have to do any of that. There's a small uh, scuff mark at the top there that you can actually buff out, not a problem. And a very small scratch at the bottom, easily touched up by a professional airbrush technician. I think it could be done. So I decided to take it on. It's out, got the bumper out of the way. So I'm gonna put that in a safe spot. I got it all opened up on the inside with my Porter Power, which is gonna move that and move this corner out to meet the bumper, if you remember before. And then once I get this line nice and straight, I can start working on it. What I don't recommend for this type of repair, at least it's my opinion, to do glue pulling right away, because you, not only do you risk making the paint worse, but you risk bringing up just above the body line. This is the body line or the turn in the metal. It's a 90 degree turn, and it returns back to this. but. If you glue pull, what happens is you create a high spot right above the line, and you kind of uh, isolate this very, very strong crease right along the edge. I don't recommend that. Um, what I'm gonna do first is push it with the hydraulic and then change um, the tip head to where I'm getting pushes right in the very corner and bringing that out. So as a person that does this just about every day, um, that's what I recommend, is pushing it. Uh, there's really no need to get involved with glue pulling, mainly because of the paint chip, but also because you really have to get good at pushing right at the very corner, the inside corner, and not just above it or halfway above it, um, or half an inch or so above it, because you just create a lot more work for yourself. almost want to push up here but I am it makes sense to diminish it while you're pushing down here at least to kind of lock it in properly if you push up here to get the crown which is a good idea you're gonna, this is gonna fight you so to, it's, there's a, in a way there's a hierarchy the body line is priority over anything else <clears throat> It's not an easy swing to do, but over the top is okay. But I prefer this, I'm just more comfortable. Let's take a look. So you can see where. You know, I'm really knocking it down, getting it flat, but it's pretty sharp. All right, time for some cake. Take my dentile inside there with a nice flat bend tip. I'm gonna move a lot of pressure. I'm gonna move a lot of area with good pressure. I'm gonna be inside here at the right angle. Okay, before I put the bumper back on and the lights on, let's take a look. It's still early in the day, so I gotta get out of here. So, I 
that big crown up there. You can use the pole for my little one, my canopy there as a reference as to how, how it looks. So I haven't done any polishing or sanding. Actually, I did do some polishing to get some of that scuff mark out, but this is before any sanding I'd have to do if I wanted to really dig at that. But overall, it came out really nice. I got paid and on to the next job.